Looking for somewhere to copy trade that offers only the highest quality of certified traders vetted by a team committed to helping traders become successful? Diablo is that platform, offering rigorous risk management by setting maximum drawdowns for their platform's traders. As with real trading rooms, traders are followed by a person called risk managers during their incubation period. So there's no need to worry about what traders you follow on Diablo.io. So visit Diablo.io for more information on participating in their open beta. This my two Satoshis, this my two Satoshis, who need two cents when they can get double from stacking Toshis, yeah. It's your boy Crypto Blood and welcome to another My Two Satoshis Crypto News video. Listen, I normally don't do this. I normally don't focus on one topic for my crypto news updates simply because there's a lot to cover within the blockchain space from a macro standpoint. So focusing on normally one coin or one topic is something that crypto blood normally doesn't do at least and not in this format but i think there's a reason for me to do that today eos there's some major things happening many of you know i'm the executive director of eos detroit a block producer for the eos blockchain we also produce for five other blockchains telos proton xpr or and of course wax that's one of the more popular ones all these have one thing in common it's the eos io protocol which I've been a champion of, I've been very supportive of from the get-go. And to this day, many people don't understand how EOS, the original blockchain that launched EOS IO framework, really set the stage for all of these other sister chains to flourish. So in today's episode, I gotta talk solely about one topic, and that is EOS and what's happening. It's been a lot of shakeup. Block one has been kicked out by the community. I love seeing stuff like that. That is a great example of decentralization and blockchain working in the proper way. We've gone so far away from what just happened on the EOS blockchain that it's just refreshing to see that we can come together as a community and make decisions and take funds away from a foundation that really held us back for so many years. So it's just great seeing what's going on i'll detail some of that here in a second but what this video today is solely about the eos upgrade we got dan lammer who created the depos consensus algorithm he is knee deep into this upgrade of eos called mendel we'll talk about that in today's episode we'll talk about what this upgrade looks like what features we're going to be seeing in the coming weeks and months there are a lot of improvements technically speaking on the eos blockchain which I think will position it back into the talks of some of the best smart contract blockchains in the game. It really, it really was or is the best, in my opinion, or one of the best. It's just that we had an organization that had ideas for this blockchain that didn't align with the community and the community took over. And that's a beautiful thing. So again, we'll talk about all these things pertaining to this new EOS hard fork coming up on today's episode of my two satoshi let's get it How? but before we start if you guys find these types of videos informative make sure you like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this and so before we do get started on this eos topic for today's episode you know i got to give you guys an update in the markets we are still in this channel ladies and gentlemen that really started way back here in may of 2021 and we saw ourselves get out of that channel but uh, unfortunately just because of i think macro things macro reasons which are still very relevant in today's market it's uh is the reason why we're seeing this bleed out with cryptos and even the equities markets the federal reserve is going to control the narrative in crypto i'm sorry to say it i know you don't want to hear that it is what it is until things change in in this crypto space maybe matures a little bit and there's more utility going on but until then 98 percent of what you see in the crypto markets is solely and purely speculation so with that being said you're going to have speculative activity so the participants in the market i.e bitcoin and all subsequent altcoins prices of those coins are going to be at the whim of what is going on globally from a speculative standpoint and what the federal reserve is doing so as i've stated and i'm going to draw this trend line really quickly this macro trend line that we've been on here drawing this trend line you'll see that we did bounce above that downward trend 
back when we tried to get above $51,000 Bitcoin. As you guys can see there, I'm going to zoom in. We did try to get above there. And until this point, we are literally still above that area, to be honest with you. So that is one good thing. However, what we have from a more local level is this trend line that we tried to build a base off of back on January 24th and we are seeing that move up however earlier today or last night we saw a breakdown below that trend and we tried to get back above it and got denied and that's when we saw this huge red candle which to me was a very bearish move so at this time at the time of recording we are pressing up against that trend line and we need to see us close above here so that means closing above $39,000 Bitcoin $40,000 Bitcoin is what we need the next area that is of concern for me and which i think would be an area where we would turn back around would be literally around forty one thousand dollars which if i place a horizontal marker here we can just denote that that is the line right there forty one thousand dollar almost forty two thousand dollar bitcoin that is where if we do break above this trend line here that's ultimately i think where we will see some stoppage of this little bounce dead cat bounce that's all it is in my opinion uh and i'm confident about that because i'm confident in what the fed is doing in the markets i do believe they will surely reverse course after four hikes maybe three if they get that far they will reverse course but that takes us out maybe to the middle of this year so you know we're going to see i think a bearish market in cryptos and equities for the time being with bounces here and there for sure it's not nothing goes straight down and rarely do things go straight up for forever without some type of resting period or pullback so that's where we are technically in the markets, ladies and gentlemen. So that kind of gives you some areas you should be paying attention to for the rest of this day and going forward this week. And so to kick this video off, I just want to reiterate something. And I always bring this website up when I'm talking on my live streams or having debates with individuals. You know, this site, blocktivity.info, is a very neat site because it gives you metrics and ranks blockchains based on their activity based on their utility and what blocktivity aims to do here ladies and gentlemen i love this site and i've actually used this for many years to really pick or help guide the direction in which i'm investing money and capital into the blockchain space what blocktivity tries to do here and this is not a sponsored uh clip or anything like this but it's just un it's important for you to understand how powerful this list is they order things by a set of different data points one being activity in the 24-hour period transactions in a 24-hour period of course market cap plays a little role in that but there are a number of ways they take those data points and make a top blockchain list it's not based on market cap alone it's not based on price alone it's based on the usage of this blockchain and i think that is really if you're talking about a long-term play looking to invest long term in this industry you need to keep that in mind you need to look at those blockchains that have consistently been above average in activity in transactions and so on and so forth so as you guys see a number of these blockchains listed here are coins that i support personally number one one being here wax wax blockchain that is a depos protocol okay and you'll see a number of depos protocols on this list tron uses depos hive uses depos uh, in particular wax uses depos but it's actually a direct derivative of the eos io chain you also have eos on here of course the original eos io blockchain to be launched telos one of my favorite as well it's doing very well today i should have brought that one up i think it's up like 30 percent 20 percent today xpr is another one so there are a number of coins or projects here on this list that are like top five top 10 and even top 25 a lot of these blockchains listed here are eos io run blockchains and even further a lot of them are depos consensus algorithms which we have to give dan larimer the credit for he created the depos consensus algorithm and has been really over the many years perfecting that algorithm and he feels like eos is the final project to really make this dream blockchain come true for him 
so a lot of there you know there are people in the space that say hey this guy jumps from project to project every couple of years i understand that and i didn't feel that way until i saw him leave block one of course not knowing what was going on behind the scenes that really uh gave me some pause in my assessment of dan limmer right i was like wow wait a minute maybe there is a pattern here <laughs> maybe this guy does just jump from ship to ship but no he left block one for a very good reason block one was taking the project because they were the main developers of the eos io protocol but to really make a long story short here block one really hijacked the project okay in our opinion as things i i didn't say much for many years i never said anything just waiting in the back assessing the issues assessing how block one was moving at some points you will say oh, okay they're moving in the right direction then they would take five steps backwards but again i'm just trying to assess at that point what is going on what is block one's actual vision they say one thing but then they do another i didn't know how to really assess what was going on so i really didn't say anything and this all kind of ha happened simultaneously or around the same time that we saw dan limmer leave block one Dan Limmer leaves Block One, does a manifesto, and uh, you know it was really kind of hard to read into what he was saying. You had to read between the lines in many cases. But uh, after a few months, we see exactly what is going on. Dan Limmer is really trying to make EOS the blockchain that he envisioned it to be when he was hired by Block One as the CTO. Now he can really make that happen or rally the troops around making eos one of the more robust blockchains in the game i mean i think eos may have been one of the first if not the first to use wasm instead of the ethereum virtual machine it just stands for you know web assembly and so wasm really is broader and more robust than ethereum's evm because there are many applications that use web assembly these types of things are future proof they're future proofing or did future proof eos to be very very robust as it scales up and so i'm very excited about what is happening you may be asking what the hell is happening well as i stated you know there's a major change coming to eos there are a number of steps and items in the roadmap ahead now that the community has full control over the fate of eos it's no longer in the arms or hands of block one you know block one really burned us badly and it took a while for many of us to see the writing on the wall but they burn the community by shifting their focus to funding platforms like bullish the exchange which they were trying to do a spac or ipo through a spac and you know just really not focusing on the core community and improving it there was a lot of things that we saw sister chains like wax do like telos has been doing excellent with their evm telos and evm I mean, there, there are other sister chains using that same open source code and Im improving upon it faster than the original <laughs> creator of the code could do, which didn't really make much sense to me. With all that capital they had behind them, you would think that they would be the ones really innovating and making those changes faster than any of the sister chains. And so the network has gone through a radical change and in the last month, the community pushed block one out and took back those tokens now eos backers can take back what was owed to them and they're just gonna have to do it themselves with the help of the enf of course and really it's the first time i've ever seen something like this and this doesn't get a lot of media press or anything like that but literally i think i've not seen and let me know in the comments below but this is the first time that i've seen a dao or decentralized autonomous organization really take action towards or against a corporate entity and take back over what the community was really holding up in the first place but the problem with that is of course the fact that a company like block one really owned a lot of the ip like yeah the sort the code is open source the inf and dan lammer fractally they're going to continue this vision the original vision they're going to continue it on by building upon the eos io open source code but things like the Twitter accounts, IG, Facebook, the website, right? The website, EOS, IO. These are things that we just, we don't, we, there's an issue. We don't have the ability to take that over because those are properties of block one. And so what Dan Limmer is attempting to do, because that is an issue, right? 
But what he's trying to do here is gather the community and brighten things up by instituting an upgrade, which they're calling Mandel. So this is an upgrade to the EOS IO code base. Okay, and they're going to fork it into a new code base, which again, that name is Mandel, and they'll come up with a new name in the future here. But basically, this marks a symbolic break away from block one, and it will be the first time that the EOS network runs its own version of the software not developed or released by block one. In this breakup, in this split, there will be three main hard forks and it will be part of the blockchain's effort to disentangle itself from developer block one and shift operational control of the code base to the ENF, which the network funds through a $100 million inflation drip. That's something that maybe you guys aren't aware of because you're not really involved in the blockchain like that, but there was a vote to have uh, with the inflation that occurs on the EOS network uh, for a portion of that to go to the ENF and the ENF will then do things in the best interest of the community as a whole. A little bit more about the actual updates. The Mandel hard fork is the shortest path to EOS independence. That's what Dan Lammer said it is the first step on a multi-year plan to revitalize EOS. The code base will begin on Mandel 3.0. That's what version it will start with and it will be derived from the EOS IL 2.0 with some of the most valuable enhancements. Now we're gonna cherry pick some things from EOS IL 2.1 and a few from EOS IL 2.2. And so Mandel 3.0, I think is on testnet right now for the community to validate. And it shouldn't take long uh, per Dan Lammer's comments on this simply because there aren't a lot of upgrades here that are going to need a lot of testing. So this should go out very soon with a Mandel 2.3 release in April. And then uh, from there, they're going to do hard forks and activate hopefully by May. 19th of this year and with all of this it will mark the symbolic completion of eos independence from block one because it will be the first time the eos network can run on software that they didn't create as i stated earlier all this work is going to be done by clarion os the enf has commissioned or allocated 200,000 eos for the clarion os team to uh, make that mandel 3.0 release possible and there's some technical things here in this latest upgrade or the first upgrade i should say configurable wasm limits some contract pays and enhanced configurable blockchain parameters i'm not going to get into the details on that but just know that those things are very advantageous to the growth of the eos blockchain and so to sum things up here like I truly believe that EOS is going to rise from the ashes like a phoenix. It really is. And this may be the coin. You know, they, they talk about Ethereum killers and, and all of that. Why even compare ourselves to Ethereum? Just be your own blockchain. I think that's what EOS is going to show. It had the potential technically for forever, like from the beginning. And so I always kind of stayed quiet and observed in the background what was going on with the EOS project. I knew from the technical specs of the blockchain were superior and are still to this day. You see what's going on with like Solana and their, all their centralized issues. And so I just feel like now is the time for EOS to really shine. Uh, I never doubted or second guessed the actual technical side of it, but I was always underwhelmed by the support from block one with this blockchain that they helped launch. So it was very confusing to me to see all of this money raised and most of it not being utilized. And at one point we do know that SEC sued Block One over the EOS token, ICO at least, and they settled. And I've said this in the past, EOS is one of only two other coins that have passed the SEC's litmus test, or at least gotten over the up to the other side, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and EOS, those three. So you, I think it's so undervalued right now from a regulatory standpoint, from a technical standpoint, and now the community has control over this code base and will take this thing forward. And I'm telling you guys, Crypto Dom is speaking here, this coin is one to hold for sure long-term. Not really giving you financial advice, I'm just saying that's my opinion on it. I think you're gonna see EOS really rise from the ashes. It had a very tough two years as you saw it really drop from top 10 to not mention at all like the jay-z line says but but it's on its way back i'm very confident with this pivot and with 
the community taking back over i'll leave a link in the description of this video so you can read through the medium post that dan limmer dropped and just like i told you guys i had a strong conviction on telos which is trading at like 90 cents right now told you guys about that great blockchain using eos io but modifying it to their own benefit um i told you how great that blockchain was at two cents i'm telling you about eos which is trading at two dollars and 33 cents ranked 55 or 56 top coin man you're talking about comparing eos to cardano and what it does today there's no comparison so you're looking at a gem here and i think you know now the community can really show and prove and improve this blockchain to be one of the top five blockchains in the game that's just crypto diamonds crypto blood speaking here you let me know your thoughts in the comments below with it being again one of the main components is the legislation or legal aspect of it it's already cleared the sec uh hurdle and hey while all, you got xrp in court and all that and i'm not saying they're going to lose but i'm just saying the sec is going to go after all of these coins and tokens i think these like layer one tokens so we'll have to see what happens here but again i'm just letting you guys know look out for eos i think with this pivot with the community taking back over it is going to be a story to remember let me know again in the comments below what you think like share and subscribe and click that bell to receive more videos like this i'm out of here people Holla! I ain't telling